name is Chuck Westbrook or Charles Westbrook from uh, Detroit Cooley High School. I had the pleasure of boarding the high school in the 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade with uh, Miss Debbie. Beautiful lady, shined a light that uh, was like God, so you know that she was beautiful not only physically, but mentally, spiritually, as well as educationally. And I just want to give you a happy birthday gift of peace, love, and blessings from Eric, from Barbara Brown in the back. We have some more Cooley High School people that have been here, and we just want to let you know, happy 50th, and we love you with all our heart. Yeah. Yeah. Just got to respect the elders, thank you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't have anything funny to say. Uh, approximately 30 odd years ago, Jeffrey came into my life. Came into my life and I had to ask my mother, she said, all right, you're going to be here? And she said, yes. And then we are 30 years later. That was like my daughter. She doesn't miss a holiday. Every birthday I get something, every Father's Day I get something, Christmas I get something. Deborah, I love you. My, my biological children tell me she's a sister. She act like it. <laughs> you know, if, uh, if, matter of fact, if a holiday come along and she has a problem, I don't know what's wrong. But anyway, when Deborah came, she, she left for a while, but I didn't see her for about maybe seven, eight years. And when she came back, she came back, she had three sons. <laughs> And a husband. <laughs> now when Jeff came into my life, I just couldn't believe that he was going to be the son that he is. Jeff, where are you? Where are you? He's probably outside. <laughs> but he was, uh, he was just kind of special to me also. Uh, by the way, my name is R.C. Pringle, but they call me Pops. Mr. Pringle. My Pops. And I, I, could, I told her when she told me, she said, I want you to say something at my birthday party, I said, Deborah, I could talk all day long. <laughs> only got three hours. Anyway, Deborah, I'm not going to be all night. I want all of you to know that she's really important to me. Uh, she's like something very, very, very special. And I thank God for bringing her into my life 30 years ago. Amen. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, I'm going to say a few words to Deb because uh, Deb, you. Oh. Well, see, everybody know I'm a DJ, so that's what he knows, so that's what he's doing. But at any rate, Deb, I really, really love you because the last few years of my life I've been going through some tremendous times. It's been very, very difficult uh, health wise. And you've been there. You've been there for over 30 years. You know, I knew you before you knew Jeff. When you knew Jeff. And all throughout. And uh, you didn't know I was going to be here today. You thought I wasn't going to make it. But I'm here. And I'm here just to say to you, happy birthday. I love you. And thank you for being my sister. Yeah, I didn't go to the community with Deborah, because that's my sister. But she is the most beautiful person I can know. I sit around the room and I tell Deborah, how you got so many friends? I don't know how you do it. But she she look, she got a special place in everybody's heart in this room. You can't hear me? I'm sorry. She got a special place in everybody's heart in this room. And I've been knowing her for 40 X nine Z years. But that's my sister. And I love you. Happy 50th birthday. Thank you. I love you, darling.
like we haven't missed a beat. I love her so much. <laughs> um, <laughs> but she's been my family since I was five. Like, blood in, blood out, period. And she's an amazing woman. And I love you, Blues. Happy birthday. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Happy birthday, Deb. Uh, a couple of years ago, Deb planned my 50th. Quiet in the back. Thank you very much. I didn't have to do a thing. I trust her, Angel 1, and this is Angel 2, with my credit card. And they came back with it. Nothing for themselves, everything was for me. Um, it's just a crew of, uh, I call us Team 84, we class of 84. There are young sisters, there goes some young sisters, 85s, uh, 89s. <laughs> Who lives in the house? Everybody needs to eat, needs to party, but I'm going to leave you with one chat. C-O-O. I'm sure everyone's ready to. I'm sorry? Okay, absolutely. We, okay. Man, how can you come up? How can you come behind that? Right, Cooley folks? How can you come behind that? All in all, I like to say, Deborah, we love you. Cooley High loves you. Everybody loves you, your friends love you, and people don't even know you love you. <laughs> Deborah, you've been such an inspiration to all of us. You have supported all of us and all of the events that we've had, and we thank you, darling. We all want to wish you a happy birthday, and today is your day. Today is the day that you sit down and we support you. All right? Today is your day. And as Deborah, all know we say. It's Leo's birthday. All the Leo's in the house, can we hear you? Uh, ah, 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 Deborah, we love you. We want to keep you in our lives. As long as you can, continue to support us, and we're going to support you, baby. You know what? This is real. We all we got. And also remember, we watching you. All right, happy birthday, baby. So next we're going to have Jeff Jr. He has a poem that he's going to read. I got some slight disclaimers, but before I begin, all the people I don't get on Facebook, if I email you or with inbox you and you ain't say nothing, y'all suck. I, I was really trying to get some feedback, and I, I went outside the box, outside myself. 